Hey everybody, Kim at Backstreet Arts here. We're in the middle of our third week of being paused and it's been weird. It's been weird not seeing you guys. It's been weird not having the studio open. It's been weird not catching up on everybody's life, seeing what you're working on. I hope you've had some time to create. If we can help you with anything or any supplies, please let us know. I've been working on a few paintings at home and doing some letter writing, that ancient art of letter writing. But a few years ago, I started writing letters to my grandchildren, even though two of them live like a few miles down the road that way and two just live a few miles down the road that way. But writing letters with them has been so much fun. And I still have letters that my grandma wrote me which they're very meaningful to me now. But the best thing about writing letters is that usually you receive a letter back and look at these wonderful things that I get in the mail. Like, they're so sweet. Even the envelopes are decorated. Look at that alpaca. When I write letters, oh. We get all sizes, even the little ones who can't write letters yet, they draw pictures and drop it in the mail. And I know it's fun to go to the mailbox and open it up and you've got something in there. When I write letters to them, I start out with just an inexpensive piece of watercolor paper because I like to draw pictures while I'm writing and then watercolor all over it. And this paper doesn't buckle like if you worked on copy paper, but you could still do a plain sheet of paper like that. And when you watercolor on it, it's gonna ripple, but then just take like your hair straightener and you can just like iron it out and it straightens it up pretty well and all the hardcore watercolor people are like cringing at how, I do, at how I do that but and then I use just this inexpensive watercolor set we've been giving these out in our little lending library and I know you're familiar with sharpie markers they're super cool and they come in all these sizes like you know, this was the smallest one, this ultra fine point that I could find for a long time until I discovered this fabulous Sharpie pen. It's super tiny. We've got a whole box of them here that we want to share with you, 0.8 millimeter. And what's great about a Sharpie is that it's permanent and I can write my whole letter and then watercolor over the words and everything and things don't run. And I learned that the hard way when I used a normal marker and it was a lovely letter, watercolored it and everything turned gray. It was a very sad day. <laughs> but like I said, I just start out with regular watercolor paper and I write my letter. I write about what's going on in the day or just that week. And then when you watercolor over it, it's so pretty. It's like a little piece of a storybook. And I just wrote about the new green lizard that we saw in the garden at Back Street. And this week we were able to plant chamomile in some of our flower beds in the garden. It was a very windy day. But also there's a new cat that's been sleeping on our front porch at Back Street. He's brown and white. So I had to write about that. Then, oh, of course, don't forget, when you put it in the envelope, you need to decorate it. This one says, I miss you at the gnome. If you, oh, sometimes I stick little things in my letter, like a selfie of me and Tobes, or stickers, or our newspaper, the Noonan Times Herald. They still put a little children's section, little games and little children's section. So I'll save that out of the Sunday paper and stick that in too. But um, if you need letter writing supplies, just call this number 706-940-2787 and let us know how many envelopes you need. We've got pretty color envelopes. We've got super cool little stamps we'd like to share with you. These are dragons, but look at this. We have Scooby-Doo too. Very fun. So let us know how many stamps you need. We'll stick some watercolor, watercolor paper, a sweet little Sharpie marker, and we'll put your name on 
the bag and leave it in our little lending library. It's been nice. We've been able to share a lot of art with people these past few weeks. I hope that you are finding time to create. If you do not have someone that you want to write a letter to, you can always write a letter to me and Toby here at 19B First Avenue, Noonan, Georgia, and he will be glad to write you a letter back. See you later.